For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. two minutes there, two minutes to a lunch or a break, but adding 20 minutes of instructional time, and we thought that would be a better uh, instructional use of our time. We would have a beginning date and an end date. If we had Sometimes when you wander through the halls of a <clears throat> government school uh, after hours, just by looking at the walls, you can get a sense of uh, what they're teaching kids. And I try to take pictures when I'm at meetings like this in school buildings, uh, uh, not necessarily of anything outrageously bad, but anything that is interesting, that whatever is most interesting, I try to photograph that. Uh, anyway, I didn't find a lot here today that would outrage any freedom lover. Uh, you could say it was sort of um, not a lot here or there. The building is clean, however, and uh, not uh, uh, ostentatiously opulent at taxpayer expense. Good evening. Bill, well, to, what, to what extent are Second Amendment rights um, uh, respected inside your buildings? I don't understand the nature of your question. Are people allowed to be armed, adults? If, if I remember correctly, isn't there a statute that prohibits that in public schools? There is a complicated federal statute that has never been tested. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> but you're not actively enforcing that, I take it. Uh, I'm not aware that anyone is coming on. All right. Thanks for the answer. Okay, thanks. Take care couple of possibly unwitting charms here. Uh, this is a, uh, I guess they're in a non-public session right now, which I don't think is very good to have those with the taxpayer dollars, but uh, they dismissed all of the bureaucrats from it. So that's something I think I've never seen at a government, government meeting before. Usually the government bureaucrats get to be all over that non-public session. Additionally, there was a, a lady who I've ambushed interviewed a couple times, and it was fairly hostile both times. Um, uh, she actually let me into the building <laughs> today. Oh, I was, uh, there was, the front door was locked, and uh, uh, she not only let me in, but let me know where the uh, meeting would be. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat. Dot lrn dot fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn dot fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.